I am a Chicana, a woman born here in this country, but with very strong Mexicana roots and indigenous roots, and whose life is dedicated to social justice. We have a unique place, and sometimes we're the nurturer, and sometimes we're the warrior, and sometimes we're both. Like the way the North Side looks, and Rhino, and Five Points. It's so, you know, it's just stale. For a population like the Latino community, when you lose that physical landscape, you lose that history. workshop for everyone today and discussing how you can do business with the city um, specifically for uh, the migrant sheltering RFP. Julia, I appreciate it. And good morning, everyone. Happy to be with you, as mentioned. Uh, my name is Melissa Burton, and I am an immigration policy analyst with the Denver Office of Immigrant Refugee Affairs, uh, or DOIRA. After our listening sessions that uh, DOIRA and some community-based organizations did, one of the things that was still a big problem was a language barrier. And so our community was telling us, we want to access benefits, we want to access services, we want to learn more about what the city has to offer, but there's still a language barrier there. So how do we train? How do we put more interpreters within CCD, within the City and County of Denver, that our agencies can also use, as well as community? As an immigrant and as someone who has been around people who don't really speak English, like my parents don't really speak English, working, like I was in refugee resettlement, so I worked with a lot of interpreters. I think I just wanna really help people and serve the community, especially Korean communities since I'm Korean and I have a lot of empathy. I gained a lot of skills and knowledge and Giovanna, the trainer, is just so amazing. She's so knowledgeable, but also just really engaging, made it really fun. We were able to work together with so many different languages and so, it was just really, it was really cool. We are excited to be launching a new project called Good Access is Good Business. And the thought behind it is that if your doors or business is open to all, then more people are gonna come in. And that includes people with disabilities. I brought the Division of Disability Rights out to Bluff Lake Nature Center so that we could look at the accessibility features that are already in place and really how usable it is to people with various types of disabilities. I had 
been going through some tough times in my life and I ended up getting a divorce in 2021 after the pandemic, a lot of things happened. I was on like the state Medicaid and food stamps and I was working with a coach through that program. He actually told me about the Office of Financial Empowerment. My job, which I love so much, uh, helping people, meeting them where they're at. Uh, and I, I think that all, although we talk about finances, debit, credit, savings, budgeting, uh, it's really about meeting the person, the individual, uh, understanding where they're coming from, where they're at, and what they want to, uh, where they want to go. And, and I think that uh, what I often explain is uh, how people remember what the, the strength they have inside.